Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So once again, another new phone comparison actually. Both of these are pretty brand new phones. We have the Google Pixel 4 XL, which just came out versus the iPhone 11 Pro Max, which technically is the older phone, but that one is just older by like 10 minutes. It's not even older by that much, to be honest. And there's a lot of similarities between these phones. There's some advantages with the Pixel 4 XL. There's a lot of advantages with the 11 Pro Max, but in my opinion, I don't really think there's like a clear winner between both of these phones. I will go ahead and like talk more about that and like throughout this video, but I don't know. Throw so far from the beginning inference, there's really not too many crazy things between these phones. Like I don't think there's one clear winner between them, which is weird because sometimes there is, most of the time there is, but right now there really isn't in my opinion. Now looking at the front of both these phones, the Google Pixel 4 XL has a 6.3 inch P OLED display. That resolution is 1440p by 3040 with 537 pixels per inch, where the iPhone 11 Pro Max has a 6.5 inch Super Retina XCR OLED display with a resolution of 1242 by 2688. And technically speaking, I mean, the iPhone 11 Pro Max does have the bigger display, but here's the thing you have to keep in mind. The iPhone 11 Pro Max has that notch, which some of you guys might have forgotten about, got used to, but that kind of does dig into the screen a little bit. So the 11 Pro Max might be like a little bit bigger here and there, but one thing to keep in mind, the 11 Pro Max is definitely wider than the Pixel 4 XL. I found the 4 XL to be a little slimmer in the hands, which I actually like. And if you have like smaller hands like me, it makes it a little bit of more enjoyable experience in my opinion, but it's nothing like too crazy. There's nothing like you would go and like, you know, upgrade to a phone or downgrade to a phone because of that specific thing. But a really awesome thing about the Google Pixel 4 XL is that it does have the option of having a 90 hertz refresh rate on the screen which is super awesome one weird thing though about it is that i haven't been able to figure this out but apparently there is a way to keep that on force 90 hertz all the time i think there's a setting within the developer settings that i just heard about on the forums on reddit so that is actually super cool if you're wanting to keep that on all the time that does take a hit on battery life though but that option is something that the iphone 11 pro max does not have and after using it it really does add a lot into the experience so i'm actually really surprised apple didn't include this here i thought they were honestly we saw it with the oneplus 7 pro now we've seen it with the Pixel 4 XL. I'm pretty sure Apple's going to include it next year, but for this one, the 11 Pro Max, it does not have that capability, which is kind of a shame to be honest. USB Type-C on the bottom of the Pixel 4 XL, a lightning port on the bottom of the 11 Pro Max. Looking on the back, we have kind of similar looking camera setups, but not really. The 11 Pro Max has a triple camera setup, which I'll talk about in a second. The Google Pixel 4 XL has a dual camera setup, but you can see they have the same like square type of edge design. We have a glass on the back of the 11 Pro Max. We have this kind of like glaceous, but not really matte finished Pixel 4 XL back. I don't really know how to explain it. It feels really good though. It doesn't feel like cheap or anything. And it definitely feels better than the back of the Pixel 3 XL, so that's definitely an improvement. But I do think maybe the 11 Pro Max feels more premium, but I kind of like the back feeling of both of these phones. But most of the time, you're going to have a case on it, so it's not even really that big of a deal. So that kind of covers up everything on the outside. In reality, I kind of do like how the Pixel 4 XL doesn't have that notch, but also there's a little bit more bezel on it whereas the 11 Pro Max just has that notch. The screen to body ratio isn't too far from each other either. It's like about like a 2% difference with the 11 Pro Max having more screen to body ratio. So I guess that's one good thing about it, but you won't really notice that big of a difference in my opinion. Now moving on to the software side of things. Now the Pixel, you know, the whole entire Pixel line stems from the Nexus line and that whole lineup is pretty much predicated on software support and Google, whenever they push a software update, that is usually one of the first phones that go and actually push the updates to and that's a really really awesome thing so in terms of the whole entire android ecosystem the google pixel line are always going to be the first in line to get the updates and they're usually most of the time going to be the ones who are supported the longest in those time of updates as well which is awesome and i love you know anytime a phone manufacturer on the android side increases and supports their phones for a long time like the essential phone the oneplus phones i love that and i really wish you know more more, more phone manufacturers would do that but on the iPhone side and with iOS, I mean, there's really no competition here. You know, iOS, Apple just loves supporting their phones for super long. And even on top of that, they will go ahead and support their even older phones that are unsupported with iOS if there's some crazy, you know, catastrophic security bug or something like that. We've seen that recently with the iPhone 4S and the iPhone 5. They pushed to iOS 10.3.6 or whatever that was just like a couple months ago, which 
we didn't weren't expecting it was completely came out of nowhere but it was a really cool thing so best believe that if you get an iphone you know of course with the google line you'll get you know security updates and everything but with apple and with the iphones dude they will just keep supporting their devices for as long as they can and even when they're unsupported they will sometimes push security updates for the older devices as well so with the iphone 11 pro max you'll get probably like two to three more years of support on top of what the pixel 4 xl is going to end at which is really, really awesome. And like I said, I love seeing that type of improvement whenever there's some type of software support extension that, you know, these phone manufacturers bring at. I mean, that's awesome. And I love seeing that. So in terms of software support, the Pixel 4 XL will definitely hold its own, but the iPhone 11 Pro Max will definitely outlast that phone, which like I said, it's kind of expected, but I don't know. It's not that big of a deal in my opinion as of right now, because the Pixel 4 XL will have third-party support. Sometimes you will make custom ROMs for it and everything. So even though as of right now, that might seem the case, if you're okay with custom ROM your phone and rooting your phone and all that, the Pixel 4 XL will last as long as you want it to, but it's stock software support. iOS will definitely last you longer than the Android counterparts. Now moving on to the performance side of things. Now I'll go ahead and tell you the specs of both these phones and I'll just go ahead and tell you my experience with it. The iPhone 11 Pro Max has the Apple A13 Bionic chip, a hexa-core CPU with 4 gigabytes of RAM, with the Google Pixel 4 XL has a Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 chipset, an octa-core CPU, an Adreno 640 GPU, and there's only two versions of the Google Pixel 4 XL, which is this 64 gig variant and the 128 gig variant, and both of those have six gigabytes of RAM. Now, here's the really weird thing. Both these base storage models are 64 gigs for both phones, which I don't understand why they do that, but the top tier storage variant of the Pixel 4 XL is 128, where we have 512 on the iPhone 11 Pro Max, so it makes no sense at all what Google was thinking. That's a humongous advantage for the 11 Pro Max. You have way more storage variants. There's no memory card or storage expansion for any of these phones, so that's a super important thing about the 11 Pro Max, in my opinion. You have way higher storage variants, but in terms of the speed and performance, I can tell you, like, the 11 Pro Max is an extremely fast device, but so is the Pixel 4 XL, you know? I don't really find myself seeing one device being way faster than the other, in my opinion. My Pixel 4 XL opens apps extremely fast, closes them, you know, multitask them pretty well. With stock Android with the Pixel 4 XL and that 6 gigs of RAM, it seems to be working pretty well, you know. Of course, you know, more phones have, you know, like the S10 Plus, you know, that has the option of getting 12 gigabytes of RAM and crazy stuff like that. But with the Pixel 4 XL, I think it handles it just fine. Maybe, you know, the S10 Plus is faster and everything, but I don't know. It seems to be fine for me where the 11 Pro Max is, I think, more of the same. I think a lot of people have stated that the 11 Pro Max was like an extreme, like one of the fastest phones in the market. And I agree with that. I think it's an extremely fast device. But like I said, between these two, I don't think there's like a clear like, oh, this one is the way faster one than this one. I think whatever you're going to do with it, even extreme gaming for both of them. For some reason with my Pro Max, I had some issues where like heavy, you know, intensive gaming was, was kind of weird on it. Not too sure what was going on there, but it ended up being fixed for the most part. But in terms of performance, I think it's pretty much split even between them. I don't think one is the clear winner over the other. I think both of them do due diligence just fine. So if you're trying to figure out which one is the better performer, I don't think you're going to find a huge improvement going from one phone to the other. But best believe that the Pixel 4 XL and the 11 Pro Max are very, very good performing phones in my opinion. Now moving on to the camera side of things, I will have a separate video most probably talking about the cameras between these. So I'll compare those very, very soon. Keep it locked down so you guys don't miss that. But the 11 Pro Max has three 12 megapixel sensors a 12 megapixel and a wide angle lens, a telephoto lens, and an ultra wide sensor, where the Pixel 4 XL has a 12.2 megapixel wide angle lens with a 16 megapixel telephoto lens. And I think both cameras are very good in terms of quality. You know, definitely the 11 Pro Max has that ultra wide sensor. So that kind of makes it a better deal because you're getting more features that way. But the biggest advantage that the iPhone 11 Pro Max has that the Pixel 4 XL doesn't have is 4K at 60 frames per second, which in my opinion, for me specifically, it's not that big of a deal. I only do 4K. Dude, I only do like 1080p for the most part, but having that ability to go up to 4K at 60 frames is really, really awesome considering that's the direction that is the future. So the fact that the Pixel 4 XL doesn't have that where one of its main selling points was the camera is kind of crazy in my opinion, and I don't really understand why they did that. So between these two, even if the Pixel 4 XL had the better quality photos and better this or that, which I do think it kind of does, I think the quality might be better on the Pixel 4 XL. The sheer features, and I can't believe I'm saying this, but the features of the iPhone 11 Pro Max with that 4K 60 and that ultra wide sensor with the additional telephoto lens if you want it, that kind of makes it a better package in my opinion, even if the quality is a little bit worse. Another thing I want to note, the 11 Pro Max, when you're recording the video, the quality is very, very good. 
including the audio quality. The Pixel 4 XL, it seems good so far, I haven't really ran into any issues, but the Pixel 3 XL really wasn't that good in my opinion, so hopefully, you know, it did sound like a little bit of an improvement now, but that's kind of something I wanted to get out of the way. On the front camera, 12 megapixel sensor, 11 Pro Max, 8 megapixel sensor, Pixel 4 XL, and again, 4K 60 frames on that front camera. You do not have that capability on the Pixel 4 XL, which is insane, and I don't understand why they did that, but ultimately, I'm pretty sure the 11 Pro Max is the better camera sensor here, in my opinion. Now, when you get off with the battery life, this is another really weird thing. It's been a very long time, in my opinion, since the first time I've been like, if you do the iPhone wins in almost every single category that's like not a tie, the battery life, I think, is better on the 11 Pro Max as well. You have a 3,000 969 wink wink million power battery on the 11 pro max but a 3700 million power battery on the pixel 4 xl both like reverse wireless charging but both have wireless charging so it's okay and i'm pretty sure the 11 pro max has a better battery life here actually i'm not pretty sure i know the 11 pro max even if you keep that screen at the 60 hertz refresh rate on the pixel 4 xl it's still going to be better on the 11 pro max in my opinion and honestly dude to kind of sum up this whole entire thing i think if you if you gave me like hey pick which one you want i would pick the 11 pro max without a doubt I think it's a better phone overall. I would get the maxed out version of that phone versus the maxed out version on the Pixel 4 XL. You're getting more storage or at least more storage options. You're getting that better camera. The speed might be the same. You're getting the more software updates. So a longer supporting phone. Face ID, in my opinion, is superior than Google Pixel's face ID thing they're having, whatever it is. And even though you're not getting that 90 hertz refresh rate or that gesture thing that that it has or USB Type-C or whatever, the 11 Pro Max I think is a better phone. But I do think the Pixel 4 XL might be the better value per dollar. And I can't believe I'm saying this and to throw this twist in there because that one is $899, you know, for the base model. The iPhone 11 Pro Max is $1099, which is $200 more. So is it worth going up to $200 more? In my opinion, yes, I would pay without a heartbeat, but... To you, that might be, you know, a bigger deal. So in my opinion, 11 Pro Max, better phone. Pixel 4 XL may be better value per dollar, but honestly not by much. So that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions or anything, leave it down in the comment section below. Hit that like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it would mean so much if you guys could hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel. All those links are linked down below. I'd really appreciate it if you guys could check it out. But more importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.